just walking around eh it's like friendly people here you know i don't know where the path actually leads to so uh, curse to mother nature good evening everybody today is a very good day here actually it's actually a good night here at um but actually it's a good evening here at um at das marinas so yeah today i'm just gonna go out to the park to Kadiwa Park with my cousin Jervis we're gonna eat out and then we're gonna explore the park so I have a few more days left before I go back to Saipan and it's, it's really sad but you know but you know I'm gonna make the best of it right now and yeah but right now we're just gonna go out and eat spend time with my best cousin the Jervis Koi Jervis actually and then yeah I'm gonna head out and find him he's gonna use his motorcycle and I'm gonna drive all the way there I'm gonna wait for him actually for now so yeah it's already evening here and you know I know it's kind of late actually we're supposed to go much earlier but a lot of things happened recently and you know but still just gonna go out and you know enjoy a few moments later I'm gonna go to his house actually I'm not going inside actually just wait for him outside we're gonna ride one of these the motorcycle it's gonna be waiting for him outside and yeah so usually we always go out but right now it just take some time because he just dropped his uh his, his girlfriend and then yeah but right now we're just gonna wait for him so yeah it's really like this life actually in uh in the philippines or you know pretty much a lot of basketball playing around here we live near the barangay where there's a basketball court as you can see over here yeah it's uh there's actually a basketball court over here right over here hopefully it's gonna be live tonight because tomorrow's gonna be school day for Public school day actually here. That's when the that's when the when the school starts for them. Public school. So, okay, you guys, you wanna ride a motorcycle? So yeah, it's gonna be fun. Yeah. So yeah, we're gonna see you riding the motorcycle right over here. Yeah. Oops. Okay, and we're in a motorcycle. Yeah. All right. Ah, mag -papa dito? Oh, punta ka na doon, ha? We're here at Kadiwa Park. Actually, it's closed right now, but hopefully it might open later. But yeah, just gonna explore this area. I'm gonna get some local street food first. Try some of the street food over here. Popcorn and... I don't know. What do they have over here? Go buy street cards, go buy racer. Kaya. 
Meron kayo ang um, beef show mic? Beef, yeah. Ah. Uh, two lang, two pieces. Uh, only four. Okay lang, four lang. That's how the show mic. It's actually dark, but you know. But it's still good. They eat some good food. And it's an appetizer before I eat Indonesian food. So yeah, just gonna wait for this place to open first. And yeah, if it opens, let's see first. But you know. A few minutes later. Okay guys, I just finished eating my shomai. Now I'm gonna eat something else. Some uh let's gonna try some uh, fried food. Maybe some of the fried sticks you can find here. I think one of the street food you can find over there. So yeah. Let's try um so they have st some stuff over here. Ito ang isaw? Ah, yes sir. Isaw yung kuya. Ano ito? Ayan kuya. Yan po ay uh, Japanese corn dog kuya. Overload yan. Maraming Anong sa loob sa... Kuya, meron yung uh, pusit gulay. Ito ah. at saka chicken hot dog with uh, cheese. Ito? Ano ito? Calamaris kuya. Calamaris ito. Ayan. Takoyaki. Gawang Pinoy. Ito ang... Ito ang ah, pares lang yung ito, takoyaki utol. Ayan kuya. Ano sa saloob sa lumpia? Ah, sa ano yung kuya? Dynamite kuya, may loob yan na. Edin cheese, gatas ng kalabaw. Ah, so Kuhan gusto ko isang ito? Ayan po, isaw yan sir, ng manok sir. Ma Makano po? Ah, five lang yan kuya, napakamura kuya. Sa iba kuya, ano yan, lima. Five? Napakamura five 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 dito. Okay, isa na lang. Kapat yan na po. Gusto isa? O, oh, ayan po, halang five. po kayo. Ay sir, o. Oh. Ay sir, saan po kuya? I'm gonna try some of the street food actually. Some isaw, it's actually um, chicken I intestine. So. Yeah, it's deep fried chicken intestine, but also there's a barbecue version, but this is fried. So, yeah, fried, I'm gonna try yeah. some fried food. Oh, yeah, what time this one open? Ah, uh, sir, open yan, sir, but uh, Monday, sir, close yan, sir. Oh, close? Oh, ho. The lights? Ah, uh, this, sir, yung kabilang ano, pinto, sir, ha. Ay, salamat po, ha. Bonus to you. Yeah, I'm gonna get some, some cutleries. Yeah. This is actually my snack, my appetizer, before I eat some Indonesian food. So, yeah. Let's see how it tastes. That's a weird taste, but it's an okay texture to me. Mm, that's actually good. Yeah. So, some more. Yummy. Really, really good. Man, this guy actually made this isa very good. Hello. Hello. So you guys, if you come to <laughs> you guys, if you come here to Kadiwa Park, just go to this place. The I don't know what you call it actually. This guy actually sells um, a lot of fried food, and you know he, he he makes a great show by talking. I would come here again. At least we can buy some snacks, especially at night time. So yeah. Okay, guys. Now we're just gonna go to the. We're like we can already walk around here. So usually at night time, it's like there's like lights and you know some water fountain but this time it's actually Monday so I was supposed to come here like us uh, last Saturday like yesterday or Saturday night but it was actually raining so but it's my chance to just explore some of the park hopefully I can go inside but oh well that's what it is like you see some lights over here behind me yeah this is where people hang like to hang out you know people hang out here you know just chilling down Man, I can just I can walk over here. It's kind of sucks, eh? It's close. Monday, it's close actually. Let's see the see the view. I was just say to curse the mother nature for ruining my chance to go to Kadiwa Park at night with some lights. Oh well, we're gonna go around and just explore this part of Kadiwa Park. So, yeah. You can walk over here actually. It's pretty nice. So right now I'm just gonna wait for my cousin because he's dropping his uh, again his girlfriend to the to the mall at least to her work. So you know right now I'm just alone here walking around. I wanna explore this park so yeah. 
and I walk around here. Oh wow. At least here there's more views actually. Because I compare to Saipan where they know they don't know how to like um, manage their parks. It's better here than in Saipan, so yeah. Wow. Like whoa. See here? I'm sorry. Wow. It's really nice, isn't it? Okay, guys, gotta watch out. There's a lot of cyclists around here. Ah. Here we go at the park. That's sort of playground, actually. We can see over there. It's actually dark, though, but there's a playground. Like I said earlier, it's like it's closed. Maybe before I go back to Saipan, I'll just find another time to to go here at night, but it's just, it's just freaking closed. It's okay, just walking around, eh? Yeah, people like to chill around here. Oh, yeah. It's gonna chill here actually. We can bring some food like pizza and stuff, but just right now, gonna save money, you know. But yeah, walk around here and you know, explore. See some teenagers hang out. Sadly, in Saipan, they don't have something like this where people can hang out. It's really sad. Yeah, but hopefully, in the future, they can open a park there in Saipan. So, as you can see here, people are just chilling down, relaxing. And also exercising, jogging. It's really nice, eh? Oh, oh, some exercise. You can like move your legs straight. Whoa, that's like a cool. And then there's the restrooms. I think it's closed, the restroom right now because it's Mondays. Whoa, look at this guy, bro. Some BMX. I think I should have seen it earlier, actually. Whoa. Kuya, BMX, yeah. But I'm not tricks. Tricks. Kaling. Okay. Yeah, just like um. I said, there's a river right over here. I think it's man-made or natural. I really don't know actually. As you can see, like, just look at it. It's like really deep. It's like so high. Like whoa. Nice. I'm gonna continue walking around. Where it leads to, and you know. Another exercise um, machines over here. I don't know what those things are, but you know, oh, it's really good to chill over here. Eh? I should have brought more food and stuff, some pizza, or hopefully I can convince Jervis we can eat here again. Buy some pizza and stuff, outside food, and you know. <laughs> I wonder what this leads to actually. If you turn right, mm. oh, I can tell there's just not a lot of people because you know it's gonna be school tomorrow. But I just wish that you know. But I'll, just, I'll try coming here, you know, before I go back to Saipan. You know, it's right now. It's just not really. It's kind of really busy today. Like a lot of people are from work or just sleeping early for school tomorrow. Yeah. Oh boy. Like really quiet, you know. I'll see this is the quiet part of uh of the Smarinia area G. Yeah, it's like you know I kinda of like this place, you know, it's really like uh it's like friendly people here, you know. But I understand that they can get mad or you know or something can be rude because sometimes you know this is city life. City life is uh where people are busy bro, they have they don't have time to you know always hang out, you know, but still it will show me some positivity and love. And compared to like Saipan, which is a small island, that people are still rude to you. So I have nothing bad against Saipan. It's just that you know, it's just sometimes people there could be a bit too you know, could be a, a jackass sometimes. But you know, but still you know, people, there's some good people in Saipan. But let's just say it doesn't like have a people there doesn't have that much. Uh, let's say hospitality compared to here, Philippines. Of course, they're more here at least here in the Philippines, people are more open-minded to vloggers and you know. Where I'm from, it's just different. So yeah, a different environment. I wanna, what's, I wanna try this one first. What is this? Actually, it's more smoother compared to one back in the house. So you can see right here. 
I can I can do it fast because I'm holding my camera. So, whoops, whoops. Yeah. I can see these are treadmills over here. So, it's a good workout place. It's actually free though. I wish they had this in Saipan also, but sadly they just don't have the budget for it. So, the government in Saipan had no budget for this one. So, yeah. Oh man, I think I'm feeling the, the dizziness to it, you know. It's feeling a bit like shaky when it comes to those kind of stuff. Oh boy. I wonder what is those things, you know. I want to see those. Oh, I want to try one of those, actually. What is this? Whoops. Oh, I, I see, I see. It's for your, um, your glutes. Well, actually, and I, I want to do it so fast because I'm going to be a bit dizzy. You know, if you know me very well, when I do some stuff like this, I could be a bit dizzy from it. So, I'm going to try this one. What does this thing do? Whoops. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, this is kind of scary. And yeah. Yeah, you guys. It's a workout place. I think this is like for your, uh, your legs and your uh, this area. This will be interesting and it's free, you guys. In the gym, it's more expensive. And at Saipan, they don't have something like this. Which would be nice to have if they have in the pathways. Beach road. Oops. Oh, I gotta watch out. Be careful. <sighs> yep. Damn. Just gonna go explore more. <laughs> Some bikers as well. A lot of bikers. As you can see what they're doing, I tried to do that earlier also. Uh, nah. They have a treadmill over there. I'm trying to keep walking around. Actually, this is actually long, you know. The longest path I've ever been in the Philippines so far. Yeah. Damn. Mm, wow, this is really nice. You can walk all the way there, actually. You can actually exercise, you know. So, yeah. Yeah, bro. Just walk around at night. Wow. I wonder where this leads to. Maybe there's a there's another way going there. It's kind of long actually. It's good for exercising. Almost my whole vacation here in the Philippines, I should have just exercised over here. It's a good place to, you know, do some jogging and stuff. Like in Saipan, you know, where I use the pathway. But you know, it's coming here. Look how they arrange those rocks. Kind of looks like the like a castle or, or, a, or a wall. Oh man, it's just a lot of noise. A lot of singing, eh? Whoa. A lot of like people dating here and stuff. It's really nice. It's beautiful over here. Wow. That's the city area. We move much closer over here. I wonder where we're at right now. Maybe we're going to Litran or, or maybe some are going to the Pala Pala. Yeah. But I don't know where this uh, actually this park leads to. So I don't know where the path actually leads to. So I'm going to try at least going the farthest as I could. Mm. Mm. I can see it's close. Yeah, it's kind of close over here. I wonder, wonder what's this place actually. If you walk up here. What the heck is going on? I'm gonna walk over here. What the heck is going on? You know, it's kind of interesting if you go to a city, there's gonna be a lot of people doing weird stuff, so there's gonna keep mining it also. You can see here, whoa, there's a dead end actually. This is actually a dead end. So this leads to uh, Bural, Maine, I believe. As you can see, it's a dead end. I wonder where this leads. Guys, I believe I'm in a different barangay. Yeah. So I'm just gonna go back to um, the place where I start. I just meet up with my cousin Jervis. So yeah. Yeah, we're just walking back, you guys. Let's go see if we can find our way back there. So technically, right now I'm just like bored, just walking around. But you know, I hopefully they, I can find you know in local influencers and bloggers around here. You know, I'm actually open to collab. You know, I'm open to collaborate with some uh, 
local influencers and stuff i'm not gonna be like those other influencers where they just like shut you down or they, they shut you off and like you know push you away i'm not that kind of person with that kind of approach i'm more open i'm more welcoming i want to be a welcoming person you know i don't want to be like kind of you know those celebrities where they just uh shoot shoot their fans away or shoot those people who wants to call that i'm a friendly guy though so a friendly and kind guy in reality hoping in the future i can find more followers but you know but you know that you know about finding more followers you also have some haters as well so the more you have also followers the more you have haters that's the rules so i gotta get used to they have haters the reality is when they become uh, influencers you know i'm gonna be that you know welcoming person instead of being that you know those kind of those kind of like you know influencers who say that like the door is open for those who want to collab on reality nah i'm gonna be different i'm gonna be i'm gonna be the at least trying the best um person as possible but maybe not to be the best you know nobody's perfect but you know still still gonna be able to show kindness and you know have that humility as well as more openness to other people you know i'm so open to you know to collab actually and i'm down for it, you know if anyone wants to collab with me i'm always down for it you know maybe sometimes i'm busy but you know you still i'm still down to do it yeah even a person like johnny somali the guy who likes to harass many japanese people you know by stream but still open to collab with him you know despite of what he did because you know there's always room for forgiveness room for improvement so yeah but you know just walking around here just like uh exploring you know so it's really nice uh it's really nice coming here eh? exploring this part of uh that's marinas area g actually that's yeah. actually it's not part of area g Hello. At least here the local people like the Filipinos are more open-minded compared to compared to Saipan actually. You know in Saipan if you do this I'm telling you they're gonna tell, they're gonna shoo you away, you know. That's a sad reality by staying there compared to let's say here. At least people here are more open-minded compared to let's say the US. I've never been to the US but let's say where I'm from in Saipan and even Guam also. Guam is like a a bit more close-minded. Yeah. Hello. Working out? Ah, good job, good, good. So yeah, just gonna walk back. You know, it's really nice. I just love, love it here. It's more warm, you know. Of course, I don't want to judge, but you know, it's just so stupid hearing people saying thoughts are getting negative or positive. But at the same time, they're just so negative to you in reality. Still better than Saipan, you know. Saipan is just like, I don't know, they reward, they're like gonna be nice to you, but in reality, they just hurt you in the end. So yeah, just like many of my uh, former friends there, they just uh, backstab me and stuff. I just, I don't know, run away from me whenever I get so mad. What a bunch of cowards yeah like yeah they just left me just because i'm just i just got frustrated looking for a job but you know they just they just want to they don't want forgiveness and two of them blocked me you know that's why you know it's just really frustrating nowadays you know as i here in the philippines at least it's more refreshing you know to find some people i was saying not say truly loves you but let's say like who shows kindness you know or you know let's say like hospitality and stuff because in Saipan, sometimes that's what's lacking so far. Hospitality and stuff, and you know. Yeah. When I go back to Saipan, it's gonna come back to misery, you know. Balungkut yung buhay ko sa Saipan. So yeah. You know. Here in the Philippines, I would say many people say there's no opportunities. You know, but still, you know. People here are more friendly, are more open-minded. Maybe in the States. I've never been to the States yet, but you know. Hopefully in the future, maybe I can find some friends. Of course, I keep hearing stories that the States people could be a bit, you know, could be a bit uh, jerkish. Like people in the States, maybe some of them could be a jerk. But you know, that's how it is if you live in a big, in a big community where almost everyone doesn't know each other. I like in like, you know, where I'm from, you know. Like everyone almost knows each other, but at the same time, they don't know how to treat each other nicely. So I have a brother who's a skater, so man, I wish my brother was here because he would skate literally in this place, you know. He would literally skate here. And enjoy some stuff here so but right now he's at school at AOP so yeah my brother is uh, actually gone now oh, well. I'm gonna keep walking around as you see it's close right there I wish, I wish we can go down but man you know it's really nice coming to the Philippines so we have like like what like five days left and Saturday is my flight it's gonna be a really a sad time so I gotta enjoy this moment you know staying here but hopefully in the future you know after I finish like because actually next year I plan to go to the US to uh, at least to finish my studies and maybe uh, get some money and after like let's say two to three years in the states I want to come and move here to the Philippines because I, maybe uh, you know, people will say there's opportunities but still you know my family and relatives are here people who like uh, 
people who truly loves you is here like my uh my auntie my uh, lola and stuff and my uh let's say my nephew and nieces and my cousins alaysi they show more kindness compared to where i have in saipan so yeah or in saipan or even guam you know but you know still hopefully i can hopefully move you know as soon as possible you know i was gonna gotta like you know save my money and also you know my scholarship doesn't come until next year for the state so that's kind of the messed up thing also is that and it pisses me off also i should have got my scholarship but you know it's gonna take a long time so yeah so you know actually so it's kind of bs you know nowadays oh boy it's really sad you know i'm leaving this place no i don't have a time to look for i was planning to look for a friend even uh let's say uh in filipino we call this a uh, shota or a girlfriend but right now i have nothing even hopefully in saipan i can find one before the end of the year but it's kind of uh i want to stay in the philippines much longer at least to find you know new friends as well as like find local youtubers and also lastly at least fun to find a girlfriend but so far like i don't have enough time actually for that so kind of sad though in saipan i don't know you know that's actually my goal actually is to leave to the states before the year ends like let's say december i should have left but you know when it comes to budget problems you know having a budget yeah that's literally impossible so i don't know what to do for this new year kind of pissed me off actually having this kind of bad luck this year yeah especially staying in a community where people just lie to you and cheat to you so cheat cheat on you and as well as also um pretending to be nice to you but in reality caring about their own um their own personal gain instead of showing true kindness that's one of the mess that i had to live in in saipan for a long time yeah of course you know people say here in the philippines people can be mean but it's that's understandable because you know the philippines is a lot it's like a silly life you know i'm in the city actually area so you know city life people can be a bit rude or sometimes they don't care because you know they have they have their own life here so yeah it's better than saipan you know where i'm from a lot of people pretend to be nice to you in reality they just they just uh, backstab you and talk uh, toxic to you and stuff it's kind of unfortunate though so it's gonna be yes actually a few inches later we're back you guys this is actually the the park so normally this place has like water shows like a uh, water fountain shows but right now it's closed so it's kind of ludicrous though but you know i'll try coming before i go back to saipan but just for now it's just is that kind of close so unfortunate timing so i'll be dumb i to wait for my cousin i'll place around yeah here again at the, the food stand just like i said waiting for my cousin for him to arrive so yeah okay guys i'm gonna order some popcorn so yeah i'm gonna pay some let's see here hello yes isa lang. the good thing is they have like cheese flavor some uh, salt pep uh salt flavor as well as some um, strawberry flavor so right now i just bought some salt so yeah i'm gonna eat some snacks hopefully wait for my cousin to come here right away and we're gonna eat a few moments later okay guys i'm gonna ride again we're gonna find some food with my cousin jervis this time he's uh, ready so so yeah it's time to ride we'll come here again maybe tomorrow night or um wednesday night so yeah but this time it's gonna close let's see right here so yeah whoa damn so yeah now we're gonna eat some uh, some food. What a busy night, eh? Good food? Um, I think um, Thailand. Thailand? Or, yeah. Indonesian. Like, like shisha. Do you know shisha? Parang stick? No, just they have a shisha. Mm. Uh, just tignan natin. Tignan mo. Uh. Woo! Up. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna check what's over here. And you know, if not, maybe I'm gonna find another place. So, yeah. What's the food of here, eh? Oh. Biryani. 
biryani, beef, matcha marinated stuff. Yeah, that's um, I think it's Indian. Indian food. Ito Indian yeah. food. Masala. Mm, that's why you just need to buy. To buy, try. Matcha masala, shawarma, some pizza yeah, parat. I, I want shawarma. Shawarma, we can eat here, yeah. Can't wait to eat some Indian food. It's been a long time since I ate Indian food, so yeah. Everest, the one I eat in Indian food is the in Saipan is the Everest Kitchen. Everest, I can see right there. Hopefully, it tastes like Everest Kitchen, you know. Where the mamakain? Hello. Hello, pa. It smells some uh, spices. Typical Indian food, you know. It smells with spices, so garam masala and stuff. So yeah. Oops. I'm gonna be prepared. We're gonna eat it a lot tonight. So yeah. You know, unfortunately, this is happens at Filipino restaurants. You know, a lot of mess. You know, we're just gonna like wait for the person to clean up. Like you see right here, there's a paper. So let's take our orders. I'm gonna ask what we want. So of course, typical in the restaurant. So yeah. So you can see the menu right here. Ooh. Shawarma, dukima, some chika, tikka, bolti. Ooh. Oh, nice. Some masala, actually. I heard this chicken masala is almost like a butter chicken. This hopefully it tastes good, actually. So, yeah. Let's see what they have here. Maybe some butter. get some chicken masala or dum kima. I never heard of this one. What else do they have? Chicken tikka, bolti. Yeah, dalawa. One well, well, problem, po. Yeah. Some. Oh, yes, yeah, so they got some stuff. Oh, yeah, some chick chana masala, some dal. <coughs> they got some uh, some bread also. I didn't see the bread actually. Some some pizza paratha and stuff. Man. Okay. Is that the other side of the menu? Um. Uh, okay. As you can see right up here, they have a. Oh yeah, they have a extra. They have chapati around here, paratha. Um, sorry, sorry. Okay, it's a roti um, bread. Sleeping now. Some pita bread and stuff. Well, not available actually. Gulab jamun. Yeah. I'm gonna try some food over here. Yeah. Your brother. Huh? Oh hi. Oh, you. Eat. Chicken tikka, cheese kebab. Oh man, they're all out. Not available. Okay, guys, if my voice is like this, I'm a bit sick, so I got coughing issues. So yeah, Let's see what they have over here also. Good job, good job. Oh, isang beef shawarma. Sorry, Paul. Isang beef shawarma. Ah, gusto isang isang uh, paratha paratha at uh, meron kayong gulab jamun isang gulab jamun tapos ang isang mm, sam anong ano ang mas maganda ang mas maganda yung chicken masala mm. Isang chicken masala. Okay lang, nagsayip meron Indian food. Uh, ah. And uh, isang chick, uh, chicken uh, tikka boti. Ay, okay. Um, gusto magtikma ng samosas. Okay, okay lang. So okay guys, I just ordered our food. We're just gonna wait for it you now because a lot of customers are here. But I can tell this food is really good here. Okay. Just because there's a lot of customers, maybe the food is really good. So yeah. It's kind of loud though, but you know, it's a typical day restaurant, you know. A lot of people like to talk while they eat at dinner, so yeah. That's what I like about going eating out, you know. Eating out, you can talk whatever you want. So yeah. If you're drunk or if you're like, you know, let's say full or you're actually stupid or no, 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 sorry, sorry, stupid. But you know, anything, you know. So yeah. Okay, guys, we got our order. Our first batch is the shawarma. What do you eat? Uh, with the utensils. Huh? Spoon and fork. What? The spoon and fork. Oh, spoon and fork, yeah. Sorry, I can't hear because my eye. Karama ingay, but you know, it's good to try some food. 
We got the spoon and forks. We're gonna wait for the other orders as well to come. But this one, the chicken shawarma. Sadly, they don't have that much chicken shawarma in Saipan, you know. We're gonna buy a chicken shawarma in Saipan, it's gonna be really expensive. It'll cost like $12 and stuff, so. Yeah, I'm really unfortunate though, so. So yeah. Here is so cheap, it almost costs like less like a less than five dollars though. Cheap Raymen. Okay, our spoon and forks are right here. Yeah. So you can see we're gonna try some shawarma. As you can see right here, actually, it's like a like a taco except you can see some french fries, some beef. Yeah. So garlic sauce. I'm gonna try this garlic sauce. You can open it right here. And some sharp fries, you know. So yeah. I could say it's time to check. This is actually really good actually. You can taste some of that um, that cumin taste and stuff. But it's really good though. I know in Saipan they have a uh, similar stuff like this. You can find it in Saipan is the caravan. Caravan is where they sell a lot of like a very eastern food. So yeah, but here it's better, it's cheaper but more tastier. So yeah, this thing has an interesting flavor as you see right here. Some, you can put the garlic sauce to give more flavor. Some uh, beef, some onions, lettuce and french fries. Yeah, it looks sour, very sour. So yeah, but still good. I was still, I still like it still. So yeah, it's kind of tastier than the, the turk so. But there's more food coming. So yeah, I'm gonna showcase more of the food here. As you can see here, my cousin is like eating with spoon and fork. But me, I'm just eating like American style. Where you just use your hands, so... Yeah, totally different culture. Okay guys, we got our food. Some paratha stuff. I could see this paratha almost looks like a naan bread. But you know, in Saipan... In Saipan, we have like Everest and you know... It's kind of similar, except it's more crunchier as you see. Oh yeah, crunchy as hell. Let's try some. Mmm, really good. I like it. I'm gonna put it aside. I'm gonna try some samosas. Mm, samosas actually, but a different shape though. So in Saipan, actually, the samosas there are actually like a uh, silicone, I think. Silicone like a uh, shape. But this one is a um, triangle, so very interesting to try. Mmm. Mm. Six and a half hours later. Mmm. Good. This is actually awesome. It really tastes good. I can taste the cumin, the spices. Just love it. Mm. Yum. I would say I'll give it a 7 over 10. Actually, good though. So, Nevres is actually, uh, let's say, more thinner. This one's more thicker, so, it's an extra flavor. Mm. So hot. Try it. Mm, oh, hot. They deep fry it, so good. Spicy? Spicy? Not really. I'm so used to it because I, eat, I like to eat this in the inside pan. Parang empanada. Okay, guys, here's the chicken masala and some doldoma. Whoa. Do some desserts actually. And yeah. And some chicken tikka masala. I'm gonna try one of the food here. Let's see what it tastes like. So here we go. So as you can see right here, it's a soup. I'm gonna try it out. It's kind of really good though, actually. It's really good. I know in Saipan it's more buttery and stuff, but here it's actually has more of that uh, oily flavor. So mm. it's good though, actually. Still like it. So yeah. Okay guys, I'm gonna try this one. Um, I think it's a dessert actually. They don't have this in Everest, so I'm gonna give it a try because, yeah, I always wanna try this, so. Mm, it's okay, it's good. Actually, it's better than donuts actually. So yeah, in Saipan, in the Everest kitchen, they don't have something like this, which I wouldn't really wanna try, but here in the Philippines, I'm able to try this one, so yeah. You gotta here dip it with the syrup. So yeah, mm. this is good, really good. Mm. So you actually guys, this is actually not actually non bread. I wish it is non bread, but this is actually paratha. So unfortunately, they, they don't have any non bread here to partner up with the with the curry. 
but hopefully this will do the test so yeah okay, okay guys here it is the pizza it's gonna be unique though because um they don't have this in Everest so you know so yeah so my first time trying this kind of food pizza actually it's on a uh, paratha pizza actually I'm gonna try it out a bit Really hot. <laughs> but still good. Really good. It's kind of like a version, like a, I would say like, like a, like a Mexican pizza, but it's like, almost like a, I would say an Indian pizza or paratha pizza. So yeah, I'm kind of astonished by eating here. Three days later. Okay guys, I just finished my food already. Yeah, we're all full already. Yeah. Some leftovers though. It's really nice coming here, try some food, some Indian food, and it's really good though. I just love Indian food, and it's like so much flavor in every food in India. So yeah, just love the food here. You no, know, like South Asian food is really good. You can taste all the spices and stuff, which give it an, an excess amount of flavor. And yep, we're talking about like India, Pakistan, Benga uh, Bang Bangladesh. And Sri Lankan food, oh. man, even Nepalese food, check out the one of the best food I ever tried so far. Check out so yeah, I can't believe there's like different types of uh, curry, so... You see right here? Actually, it's, it's less more, um, like, the less, uh, it's more liquidy than in Everest. If you're a vegetarian, I would suggest coming here to this kind of food because they serve all kinds of healthy food, though. I would come here again, though, with my family. And we would eat here. And we would eat here. But yeah, the food is really good. I'm able to pay some, some of the cash. So actually, I'm paying all of it because you know I want to treat my cousin as well. Our last bonding before I come back to Saipan. So. Okay. Be back. Okay, guys, I'm gonna be leaving now. It's really nice coming here and some chow, some good food. I'm gonna go out and ride my cousin going back home safely. So yeah. I'm gonna wait for my change first. You know? I gotta like soup clean stuff, so. Okay guys, I'm gonna move out. Yep. It's very nice coming here to eat some good food. Whoa, jump. Yeah. Eat some good food here. You go find here at uh KJ Badash. It's called KJ Bansha. It's here at um, at Kadiwa. Akadiva, that's Marinya. So yeah, you wanna try some good Indian food? Just come here to this place. So to this place. So yeah, it's really good. You can find it all the way. It's just uh, nearby, um, almost nearby the park. You see a lot of food over here, all the way down there. So yeah, this is the Indian, the Indian food so far we eat here in the Philippines. But hopefully in the future I can explore more Indian food. So right now there's my uh, cousin. I'm just waiting for him. Just tired. I'm already tired. I want to go home and sleep. So yes, I'm gonna be waking up early in the morning because I'm going to Manila to go to St. Look to get my mom's medicine and go to Ayala to find this restaurant. So yeah. Right now it's getting late. It's almost like 9:30. So yes, I'm gonna end this video for today. It's actually a good time coming to Kadiwa Park, even though it's closed. We're coming here next time again to Kadiwa Park. But yes, it's a nice adventure coming here to Kadiwa Park or Kadiwa area. You know and exploring this part you know at night so yes i'm gonna end it for today so thank you all for watching please hit the like button and please subscribe and share my video and i'll see you on the next video please subscribe and share to my youtube channel thank you all for watching and i will see you next time peace